and mister. Hey, what's up? Can you give me a hand? Sure, what's the problem? Well, I have this problem, but I don't know what to do. You can solve any problem. All you need is a little bit of wisdom and a little bit of wit. Really? Sure, check it out. Wisdom to wit, wisdom to wit. I make all the pieces fit when I add wisdom to wit. Wisdom to wit, wisdom to wit. I make all the pieces fit when I add wisdom to wit. Wit and wisdom, wit and wisdom. Learning is so fun when I use wit and wisdom. Wit and wisdom, wit and wisdom. Learning is so fun when I use wit and wisdom. Feel the wind, written and illustrated by author Doros. Have you felt the wind blowing through your hair? Wind is moving air. Air is what we breathe. It is everywhere around us, even though we can't see it. We can't see air, and we can't really see the wind. But we can see the wind move things. Wind pushes clouds across the sky. Wind flutters the leaves of trees and makes ripples on lakes. You can hear the wind too. When wind blows through cracks in your house, it can sound like someone whistling. Can you whistle like the wind? Go ahead and give it a try. If the wind blows very hard, it can sound like a wild animal howling. Can you howl like the wind? Go ahead and give that a try. Great job. You can see the wind move things. You can hear the wind and you can feel the wind too. Stand by an open window and let the breeze tickle your face. A strong gust or a light breeze. Wind is moving air, but what makes air move? You can make air move with a fan or by flapping a piece of cloth or paper. But fans don't make the wind. What makes the wind that blows across fields and forests and mountains? What makes the wind that whips around tall buildings in the city? All of the earth is surrounded by air. Earth and the air around it are heated by the sun. But some parts of the earth heat up more than other parts. In the tropical parts of earth near the equator, the sun's rays strike the earth directly. The air gets very hot. Near the Earth's icy poles, the sun's rays strike at a slant, so the air stays cooler. When hot air and cold air change places, wind is made. Take a look at the diagram on page 11. You will see that the North Pole is labeled at the top of the globe, the South Pole is labeled at the bottom of the globe, and the equator is to the right. Hot air is lighter than cold air, so hot air rises. People discovered this a long time ago and used hot air to make balloons float. The heated air in the balloons was lighter than the cooler air outside. The hot, light air made the balloons float upward. Look at the diagram on page 13. There's a diagram of the direction in which the air moves. Pay attention to the direction of the cold air and the warm air. When heated air over the earth rises, cooler, heavier air rushes in to take its place. The moving air is wind. The sun's rays strike the equator directly. That's why it gets hotter there. But some things get hotter than others because of what they are made of. You can discover this for yourself. Feel the sidewalk on a hot day. It is probably warmer than the grass beside it. The air above it is warmer too. You might see shimmering heat waves as the hot air rises above the sidewalk.
Like the sidewalk and grass, land and water heat up differently too. On sunny summer days, the land gets warmer than the water. The air over the land also gets warmer. The warm air rises and cool winds blow in from the sea. Some winds blow gently, others blow fast. You can see how fast the winds are blowing by watching how things around you move. A gentle wind makes leaves dance. A stronger wind might flat clothes on a line. A very strong wind can make even heavy trees bend and sway. Storms like hurricanes bring the strongest winds of all. Storm winds may blow very fast, more than a hundred miles an hour. That's about twice as fast as cars go on the highway. These winds are strong enough to knock trees down. The wind can carry your kite towards the clouds or lift a glider. Some birds can soar on the wind without moving their wings. Sailboats are pushed along by the wind, blowing against their sails. People have used the power of moving air for thousands of years. Windmills are wind-powered machines. The blades of a windmill turn when the wind pushes against them. The turning blades move other parts to lift water, grind grain, saw wood, or make electricity. Wind brings changes in the weather. Rainstorms blow in with the wind and out again as the wind pushes the clouds along. Weather forecasters want to know where the wind is coming from, so they see what weather will be blown in with it. We name winds according to the direction they come from. A west wind blows from the west. There are east winds, north winds, and south winds. In some parts of the world, people have given special names to the wind that blows there. A Chinook is a wind that blows from the Rocky Mountains of the United States. A Chinook is so warm that in winter it can melt deep snow in just a few hours. A Sirocco is a hot, dry wind that blows from Northern Africa. You can figure out which way the wind is blowing by watching a leaf, a piece of cloth or string, or a weather vane. The weather vane's arrow will point in the direction the wind is coming from. You can make your own weather vane like this. Step one, you will need one pencil with eraser, one pin, one straw, one piece of thick paper, and scissors, a pen, and a stapler. Step two, cut two squares the same size from the piece of paper. Cut a triangle from one square. Step three, staple the triangle on one end of the straw and the square on the other end. Step four, balance the straw on your finger. Mark the balancing point with your pen then push the pin through the straw at the balancing point. Step five, push the pin into the eraser of the pencil. Push the pencil into the ground. Be careful to keep the pencil straight up and down. Step six, ask a grown-up for help placing markers around the pencil at north, south, east, and west. When the wind blows, your weather vane will point in the direction the wind is blowing from. Wind is moving air. All around us, the wind is at work. It carries the seeds of plants to new places where they can take root and grow. But powerful winds can also carry away the soil plants need. Wind can even change the strongest rocks. Bits of sand that the wind carries pound at the rocks and wear them away. The wearing away is called erosion. Some wind eroded rocks have strange shapes. Trees are shaped by the wind, and so are sand dunes. The wind blows gently. The wind blows strong. See it, hear it, feel the wind. We have reached the end of our read aloud. This read aloud has been brought to you
by Literacy with Coach D. Stay tuned for more read alouds to come. Wit and wisdom, wit and wisdom. Learning is so fun. When I use wit and wisdom, wit and wisdom, wit and wisdom. Learning is so fun. When I use wit and wisdom. The world is full of puzzles, and someone's got to solve them. We need a simple system to help address the problem. We need a resolution, not just a simple fix. Can we come to a conclusion using wisdom and wit? What do you see? What do you notice? Now, what do you wonder? The who, what, where, and why, and how are the things that we ponder? Put them together, and you're better your position. Learning's not a trick, it's about wit and wisdom. Wisdom to wit, wisdom to wit. I make all the pieces fit when I add wisdom to wit. Wisdom to wit, wisdom to wit. I make all the pieces fit when I add wisdom to wit. Wit and wisdom, wit and wisdom.